Hey you guys, Jason here. Hey, uh, since my beehives are growing so strong, so well right now, I mean, they're sucking down a quart of simple syrup a day each. I've uh, gone to some uh, larger old, uh, some old jars. I don't know where they come from. Well, I know where they come from. They were in my grandma's house. Uh, it's some sort of uh, pickle jar or mayonnaise jar or something that, uh, that she had uh that she had canned up some uh, figs in uh so i've they were canned in uh, 1990 she passed away in 2001 uh so uh anyway these jars are at least 23 years old uh probably probably closer to 25 years old but they're quart and a half um uh, uh, or right at it. Um, they don't say exactly what they are on them. But anyway, like I said, there's something that she bought at the store and she just repurposed. But uh, I went to those and that lasts me a little over a day for each hive. It's uh, crazy, the sugar water that they're sucking down. But uh, I'm going to have to put another brood box on them. And the reason, a lot of people don't do this. A lot of people will just uh, put an extra honey super in there. But we have such weird winters here in Alabama. I mean, sometimes the winter is a really cold winter. Sometimes it's a really warm winter. Last last winter, uh, the local beekeepers were uh, were having to open the hives up in December because it was just getting too warm. Uh, so uh, anyway, I'm going with the uh, double stacked uh, brood box setup instead of a, a extra honey super on top. It just makes more sense. Seems like it'll grow a stronger hive, uh, more brood, more bees, more better. Uh, so, anyway, two more brood boxes. Uh, gonna need for each brood box. Gonna need uh, two boards, two one by twelves, cut at nineteen and an eighth, and two cut at sixteen and a quarter. Now these plans differ a little bit from the uh, most plans that you see on the internet. Most plans that you see on the internet call for a box joint. I'm going to use a dado uh, to uh, inset and uh, put just one uncut piece in on the uh, long side. And it's very important that you get those measurements right. Because uh, if you don't, your frames won't fit. And if store-bought frames won't fit then you have to build your own frames now that's not really a problem either except when you get in with other people and you start trading like me this past week I got a real good deal on uh, a couple of uh, uh, actually on a whole new hive and uh, that uh, you know that could have never really went down had had the uh, guy that I got the bees from frames not fit in my box so you know and a lot of times you'll run across freebie deals uh, and it just sort of stinks to not be standard with the rest of the uh, rest of the industry so anyway that uh, 19 and an eighth on the long side and 16 and a quarter on the short short ends uh, very important when you do the dado like I'm fixing to do. If you're following the box, jo uh, the box joint uh, 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 plans and you go that way, you're not going to have any trouble out of the, the plans that you get off the internet. But like I say, I'm modifying it to make it easier for the equipment that I've got. I don't have a uh, box joint or a dovetail jig, so this is the way I'm going with it. So first off, got to square off the ends of my board, get them cut roughly, and then I'm going to take them over to the table saw and make them perfect. So, give me just a minute. It's a lovely day to be doing some carpentry work. Finally getting some rain on the garden, so this is a good thing. Uh, 
what I've done here is I've set up a little jig just to uh, make sure I got good straight cut edges on this thing. And uh, I'm gonna run through this, run through all these boards, flicking them up real good. And... All right. <clears throat> now that we've got them all squared up and looking nice and neat, we will uh, rip them down to the proper height. So I'll have to uh, reset my uh, little rip fence and uh, come back to you in just a sec. If you've never seen a, uh, a dado blade, uh, it's pretty uh, pretty cool the way it works. You got uh, two two main blades here, and uh, all kinds of little spacers uh, of different different variety sizes, uh, and you can make grooves in wood uh, just. Basically, any any size any size depth groove that you want. You just uh, you get this little chart here, and like right now, I'm going to want to make a uh, three eighths groove. And what it says to make a uh, three eighths groove is the two blades and one chipper blade. So I won't need any spacers. Uh, this thing will make a uh, groove as wide as seven eighths inch. So uh, it's a pretty pretty handy little uh, little thing to have to go with your table saw. Uh, really, uh, really helps a lot with uh, with projects. Uh, I love this thing. Haven't used it hardly any except for the beehive projects, but it's uh, you can do nearly anything with it. So let me put this thing together, and uh, we'll make some grooves on this uh, on this uh, on this beehives. Man, is the rain coming down! Alright, I didn't even fire up the camera for this part, but what I've got here is this nice little rail. This is going to be the front of the beehive. This is going to be the inside front. And that's where the where the honeycomb frames are going to sit, or the, the brood frames. Since this is a brood box, this is where the queen's going to live. She's going to lay her eggs in here. Uh, they're going to store honey, royal jelly, nectar. Uh, and, like I say, she's going to lay eggs and... This is where all the uh, this this is where they're going to live. Uh, they're going to have a nice two-story brood box, and then honey supers on top of that with a queen excluder to keep her out, keep her from laying eggs up there in the honey. But that's where those are going to lay. Now I've got to uh, set up to uh, run a uh, dado up through here, and then we'll be about ready to uh, cut the handholds. I'll have to run a dado up both sides of this, then the uh, the piece that don't get dado goes right in there, screwed through the front. We'll have our box. Put our hand holds out here, and we'll be set. So let me set this dado up again. Cut these last eight cuts, and uh, and then we'll measure out and, and get ready to do our uh, hand holds. All right. We're to the point of making our hand holds now, and. Uh, Uh, I built a little jig for doing that. Uh, the way my ramps are set up, it works best if my blade's at a 20 degree angle. If my deck is set at one and three quarter inch depth, uh, this will be the top of your box. Is where the handle's the deepest. Down here, as the ramps take the blade up, this will be where it's the shallowest. This will be towards the bottom of your box or drawer or whatever your uh, whatever you're making. You know, like I said, it's just a little spot for your hands to uh, get into like so and uh, give you a little grip. So let me uh, set up another one. I'll, uh, I'll cut one for you. That didn't sound good, did it? I'll make one for you. Let's 
Just put my saw in there and handhold so I've got uh, six more of those to do and then we'll be gluing and drilling and putting these things together so see you in a bit all right the next little jig is a uh, jig for the screw holes I just took this split this up it's <coughs> it's set up actually to make the uh, uh, <coughs> screw holes for a uh, medium super or if you use the entire thing, the red holes are for hive bodies. And all you do basically, set it right down here on your uh, frame, take a pencil, in the red holes, make a dot, flip it over for this side, take the red holes, make a dot. <clears throat> put, your, put your screw where the dot is. I always use a uh, drill bit, make a pilot hole, and then send in my uh, my screws. I use these little uh, inch and five eighths uh, Torx head decking screws. They work pretty doggone good. <clears throat> the last jig is the jig for assembly. And if you notice here, I've got one of them half assembled. Oh, tight bond three ultimate wood glue it's what you want to use on your frames your bodies uh every part of your it's an exterior wood glue it's uh it's supposedly the best but uh i've got one sort of assembled here it's half assembled that's a uh, high frame <clears throat> and uh fits perfectly so it fits in there actually with a little bit of play which is good because the bees will glue it down and put wax around it and everything else so having a little bit of plays not a bad thing uh, but what I've done here is I've made a frame uh, or a, a jig rather that holds the entire thing in place I've already took and uh, glued and screwed this end into place <coughs> and uh, Basically what you do, this is perfectly square. You take your square and uh, you take your square and lay these strips of wood out just perfect to hold the thing in place. That way you don't have any trouble with it once it's all said and done and you got a perfectly square little box. What I'll do is make sure everything's nice and level and neat. Feels pretty good right there. It might take a little flop, flop them. Give it a little flop them with the rubber mallet. Everything feels nice and smooth there. And make your pilot holes. And I can't get to that bottom one, but that's okay. <clears throat> the other three being in place, that one's going to be perfect when time comes. Uh, uh, basically all I'll do here is uh, get this one, do it the same way, take it apart, put the uh, tight bond on it, and uh, they'll be ready for paint. So hopefully I'll have a couple of paints on it, a couple of coats of paint on it by, uh, uh, by Sunday morning and uh, Sunday evening. 
I'll be able to uh, add these uh, add these supers. So anyway, guys, that's it. Building hive bodies. Any questions, comments, or uh, suggestions? I love hearing suggestions from you guys. I've learned so much from just the comments parts on my videos. Had a lot of great comments on every video I make, and uh, you know, learned a lot because uh, some of you guys are actually professional uh, <laughs> professional construction guys out here. I'm just a uh, I'm just uh, I'm just winging it. So uh, like I say, suggestions, comments. Hey, I'm open to it all. Thanks a lot, guys. Y'all take care. Jason, out.